Hello, it is Logan from the Motorcycle Forge, and today I'm gonna to tell you how to make a wiring loom for your race bike. First thing we're gonna do is make a plan, because the man with the plan is a man who's not gonna make a mistake. So, this is our wiring diagram here, and what we wanna do is we wanna make our own wiring diagram of what we are going to make. So, we've got a battery here. Earth circuit is the dark blue. Charging, let's pick up coil, CDI, start a relay, start a motor. Right, so there are two ways that we're gonna make this wiring loom lighter. We're gonna remove components that are obsolete that we don't need, like our ignition switch and we're going to make distances between certain components shorter so less wiring less wiring less weight we could also turn this into a total loss system so that means we'd be running just be that and there'd be a cdi and a coil kill switch you want to start with a bike that is not overly complicated so this is a cdi ignition bike it's pretty pretty straightforward yeah my advice start with something simple now that we've got our plan, first thing we're going to do is we're going to lay out where everything is going to go. So our regulator here, and it's just going to go there, and it's going to be nice and out of the way. And the last thing in our ignition circuit is our CDI. That is going to go underneath our battery, down there, and then the battery's going to go on top of it, and nothing's going to move, and it's all nice and snug, and it just cleans everything up. Right, so let's uh, put all them in position, then we can start running wires. First one we're gonna put in position is our regulator. The reason I've put the starter relay in this position is because the positive for the battery is coming out this way, and this is the positive on our battery. So literally we'll be able to make this wire from there to there. And then on the other side, the plug here goes to the wiring loom. And we've got the regulator rectifier here and we've got the coil and then we've got the wires here for the ignition switch next we need the connectors for the rest of our components we're going to pretty much remove all the sheathing off this so we can see the wires you just got to be super careful you just cut through the insulation and no more so now we've got the sheathing off and all the wires we need exposed we can grab the ones we need we've got the cdi the starter system the charging system and our earth so we're going to go put them on the bike The first one we're going to do is the earth. So these two, we're going to join those together. And then this wire is running up here. And so we're going to all splice them into this earth. And then this here is the earth strap, which this goes straight to the motor. And then that goes on to the negative as well. And that just earths out the motor. Right, so I am going to do most of the soldering off camera, but I will show you very quickly how to make soldering super easy. So we just use this wee clamp here to hold the two wires in position while we're soldering them. And also, don't forget your heat shrink. So all we've got to do is put the soldering iron under the wire, add some solder, and Bob's your uncle. Right, so now that we've got one wire done, you just match them up, and then we just cut them and solder them. Right, so if you've done all your measurements and your soldering correctly, then you should have a whole bunch of wires which are all the same length. So now we're going to use some insulation tape in a couple of places to make sure that when we remove our wiring loom, it holds its shape. Now if you're doing this on an FXR150, your wiring loom should look like this. It's ready for insulation, so let's get some of that on there. And for our insulation, we're just using insulation tape. It's a lot easier to install. We don't have to remove any plugs and any terminals because there's quite a few terminals on here that we can't remove. Now that our super light wiring loom is all done and insulated, let's go chuck it back on the bike. Just like that, our wiring loom is on and it fits like a glove. You see that, the wires go to the coil, go up to the ignition, down there the regulator, and it goes up to our CDI, which is down there, and to our starter relay. Our wiring loom is all plugged in, and we've got all our battery terminals, our regulator, our coil, everything tight. Right, I've rigged it up for a test run. Let's see if she's alive. Ignition switch on, hitting the starter. <laughs> It's like a kitten. And on that note, this has been Logan from the Motorcycle Forge. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you next time.